Hi, how are you lot? Um, welcome to Thursday. Oh, we're, we're speeding towards the weekend again. It's amazing how fast time goes. Um, and the end of June. How did it get to be the end of June? So, um, we finished the pattern. I found it finally finished uh, sorting out the pattern for um, the subscription box. Um, so that will hopefully be going out this afternoon. Uh, patterns were printing as I came away um, and we'll get those in the post this afternoon so that they should be out with some of you tomorrow. I haven't got anything really to tell you. Um, my Hindu was amazing. The yurts were amazing. It could have been a bit warmer. Um, but uh, and the girls, uh, we had such a, a wonderful time. I mean, I fell off my on my chair laughing a couple of times. Um, that it it just it was just such a really good weekend. Uh, we visited Lyme Regis, uh, Bridport, and uh, I went to Hive Beach. Whoa, those waves were huge in Hive Beach. I wouldn't have wanted to have been out there. There was um, a couple of boys a bit further down and every time these big waves came in, it would knock three of them over. So, who's there? Hiya, Jill and Linda. I hope you're feeling a little bit better, Linda. Um, hiya, Karen. How are you? It's all nice and beautiful, sunny, clear skies. Well, it was beautiful, sunny, clear skies here this morning, but I've just walked over now and there's great big black clouds so hopefully um haven't we got a um a heat wave come in i am hoping so um my my tan is starting to peel off it's a bit like you know stickers or false tam temporary um tattoos yeah my, my tan is starting to peel off so I, I need to top up the the nice skin underneath Right, today we are making a marble maze. What is a marble maze, I hear you say? It's just this, okay? And in there is a marble. Now, let me see. If we go to there, you can see here that this is all, I've sewn a marble, a, a, a maze on it. It's amazing so you would just move your marble now you could have more than one marble in there you could use a button I suppose <coughs> we're gonna I should have got a glass of water I think <coughs> so you would just move the may the, the marble around <coughs> so this is how we're gonna make it now I've sewn it so that it's a moving piece you could Sarah did um Sarah did the uh quiet block <coughs> <coughs> you could add this to that don't sew it together just sandwich it all up sew your um maze into it and then add it as a complete if you're going to do it as like quilt as you go you could just add it as an extra piece in um your quiet block you know a lap quilt for dementia or for kids to play with um yeah you could do that but don't sew it together just put the maze on it right you need two pieces of fabric you actually can make this, uh, I've done it at um, A4 size, so it could be done with a, um, a fat eighth, okay? So I've done dogs on the other one, so I've decided I'm going to have cats on this one, all right? And I've gone with a pretty pink. Now, we do a 60-40, which is... Uh, a fleecy um, wadding and it's iron-onable on one side so I'm going to iron those onto these 
pieces of fabric. So I've cut them all to size because otherwise I take forever to do these things. So what have you all been up with? Her. Yeah, um, I remember South Africa. Um, I grew up or spent some of my growing up in Zambia. So I remember the heat. However, being in boarding school in Exmouth meant that um, even the winters out there for my summer holidays were warm to me. Um, we'd arrive from... I can remember arriving Christmas holidays and you would arrive with... Um, which one am I on? Am I on that one? I am on that one, I think. Um, we would arrive dressed in our jumpers and almost melting when we got off the plane at Christmas because it was summer then. So, uh, what's every else, everyone else doing? A marble maze, yes. So, it's marvellous. So, we, uh, I'm just ironing on the 6040 onto the, um, onto the, the fabrics which I have cut out at A4 size so you will get that from a fat eighth so you're not using a lot of fabric okay I mean as we go along we'll try and bring you more blocks that you can use or more ideas that you could use in a quiet quilt um, which you could then just start put them all together or put them into a book Okay, so I've done that. I now have um, a fused piece, okay, just to give it some interest and have a start and a finish, I've put corners, okay. Now we're just going to treat it like an altered block. So I've cut three by three, I mean I'd use two by two there, but I think the corners would look nicer, bigger. So I've got three by three, so I'm going to put it one there and one in that far corner there. Okay, um, and then we're going to just sew across from top right to bottom left, and again from top right to bottom left just so that we can fold it back okay now you can make them any size that you like they don't have to be the three okay so we're just going to go over here and I'm going to sew these in place so let's change the boot there's stuff on the bobbin as well this time which is quite cool Okay, let's just, just going to put in a quick line. It doesn't have to be overly, um, overly direct. Um, dead centre, because all we're doing is, is just folding it back. And it needs to be able to sit and we're going to cut this bit off here okay so we'll just do this one as well so we've um like i say the uh, hopefully the subscription boxes will be out this afternoon we'll start doing those as soon as i've had my lunch this Hindu, we um, stayed in yurts in a place called Walnut Tree Glamping which um, I would recommend to anybody I mean it was just beautiful okay so I've cut off the corners and they're going to sit like that okay we'll sew that down now so it's just like when you do an altered block like that okay and then we're going to just iron that 
so it's fine like that okay then we're going to take our second piece and we're going to put it right sides together all right like that and hope that I'm going to fit them all I cut them separately probably you um, a good idea is to layer up your fabric uh, right sides together and then cut them out because then you at least you know they're going to be exactly the same size because here we are um, we're going to have to keep an eye on it as it goes around I think okay so we're going to put this I'm just going to pin pin you know, attach it so that it's not moving too far as we're doing this yeah it's um a, a perfect game for kids in a car uh you know it'll just sit there it'll it'll be fine right i'm going to leave my gap here okay just a little gap like that that's all you need all right, and we're going to go back to the sewing machine and sew it together. We have um, a camping book. Now, I sewed the other one at quarter of an inch. Um, rather than changing to the quarter inch foot, I'm going to use, you know I like to use just edge of, I picked the edge of the perspex there. Okay, so because we're turning out, make sure you put in a lock stitch like that. Apparently, I'm being tracked. There we go. We're still battling. With... Yeah, I think I think the cough has left me. Uh, you know, the COVID has just left the cough, and it's. It's one of those coughs where you just can't get your breath. I was like it after the last bout of COVID, so. Um, you could put, because you're sewing through um, two layers of wad in here, there's no reason why you can't put your stitch up as well. I definitely would put your stitch up for um, for your quilting. You're putting in the maze. Okay. But like I say, if you wanted to put it in as um, a block, just put the maze. Don't don't go all the way around like this. You could just leave it open, less bulk then in your seams. There we go. See, nice, quick, easy project. Only problem, I've got to pick up a marble on the way out. They said yesterday, do you want me to bring one down? I said, no, I'll go up and get one now in a minute put all Welsh people now in a minute and now in a minute still hasn't happened there we go so we're coming to here so I'm just going to sew it up to there so I've moved the, the clip even though because I kept getting stuck with it yesterday okay so We've gone all the way round. Alright, so I've gone all the way round there. I'm going to take that out. You want to make sure that you've got a bit of a turn. Try and put a bit of a, a turn in it so that you can, um, it's easier for you to find the edges at when you come to sew it okay so the corners 
we're going to trim off the corners. Okay. We're going to trim the corners off like that. Just making sure it's all the same length. Take down some of your bulk. Take the corners off. Don't cut your stitches. Let's take some of this bulk out of the corner. Okay, and take off the stitches. Right, I'm going to check before we go any further. Just going to check I've caught all of it. Yes, and we're going to turn it out the right way. Okay, so while I'm doing that, what have you been up to? Partner's still coughing weeks and weeks later. Yeah, it's really. Um, it's really uh, annoying. Uh, my smell and taste are better. They're still not perfect. I'm still not eating chicken. Strange that it's chicken for nearly everybody. Um, I had burgers last night. They're still a bit off, but they're better. And eggs are better. Missed my eggs, so I'm glad that the eggs are back. Right, we're just turning this out the right way and then we're going to go around, shove out my corners, just pop them in there. Do you like my dress? Uh, I've worn it before but I forgot to tell you, I made this one. <laughs> really pleased with it. Um, so I need to get round to actually making the one out of the tarn lawn that is sat there. You know how you hate to cut any of your fabric, the ones that you really, and I'm loath to cut it because I'm a bit worried that it's not going to turn out right, but it's not going to turn into anything just sat in the drawer, is it? And if it doesn't turn out, I can make a quilt from it. Cut it up and put it in a quilt. So we're just going to go round and make sure that there's an edge. Now you could top stitch it, which would then take the um, your, your gap. You can close the gap as you go round. I chose not to. I chose to just put in the um, uh, just to put it put in the the maze without top stitching. I just liked the look of it and I figured that I could top stitch it afterwards if I really wanted to. Um, if you're going to put it into the quilt you're not going to need to. You might want to baste stitch around the outside just to make sure that it all stayed nice. So we're just going to fold that over. I actually ladder stitched it <laughs> and you know how I love that. Right, so just going to press that in, make sure that that's all in place and I'm going to go over it because I'm now going to sew onto it. I want to make sure that, um, and by hand stitching you can, um, by hand stitching you can um, put the marble in afterwards. You haven't got to keep moving it around while you're sewing, which I thought was very clever of me. Right, so need to cool it off a little bit. What have you been saying? I don't know whether you've noticed. I've got very focals, so I can can't read what you're doing without actually looking at it. Are we on about sewing bee? Is that the latest, um, anyone watched Snow and Bee? Yes. Um, I was very happy with the result as well. Um, I don't know. I think I'd have been very cross if um, others had won. There was two. I was rooting for two people. And um, I'm glad that one of the people that I was rooting for won. Right, where are we? Um, so, 
I've sewn all the way round. I have these bits where your marble is going to will fit in there because you haven't got padding on the one side. Okay, you've got padding on on, on the back, but no padding on the uh, the front where I've added this bit because I've cut the padding out. You don't have to. I just thought it would be a nice. You could put the the marble in there. You see, they weren't big enough here. There's my marble. You could use a bigger marble if you wanted. You like losing your marbles. Um, so we are now going to draw. There are loads of mazes out there, and I wanted to go a little bit more convoluted. Um, but then I thought it's just going to take so much time to uh, sew that I decided that I wouldn't. So I'm just going to roughly follow um, a maze-like uh, thing, okay? So we want to we want to come down a bit here, I think. I'll put one there. Um, we can come along here and put like a little bit there um, and then come along here we want to chop that off otherwise it's going to be too quick to go in there um, go up here just not following the other one at all <laughs> yeah now I'm using an iron offable pen which um, now I've come out of here we need to... Do I sew it like that? I need to stop it because at the moment I can go both ways. Oh, all this thought. I'm having to think. If we put that there, it can't go down, but it is open to do something. Come along here. Down there. Oh. That's too far. This is not going to be. There we go. Right, if we don't do that one there. See, too much thought. I'm thinking too much now. If we put that one up to there, there. So you would come it into there. Keep that one a bit longer. Along here and go down. Okay. I can always add more in, I suppose. Change them. So we're now just going to sew on these lines. Okay. <sighs> Thinking too too much now. So I'm going to up my um, stitch length, and I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to lock stitch, I'm going to go forward and then back so that I can, it'll be alright if I do just chop it off so instead of burying the ends. I actually buried my other ends. Now this is just a guide. If you go too far or change your mind halfway through sewing, it's a guide so you can 
choose what to do as you're doing it. Right, so we're going to come to the end there. I'm going to go back to probably overkill. So we're just sewing around now. I'm going to go in here. I think it's because I don't, I don't know whether I trust the um, lock stitch. I've never really tested it. There. So you could make this, as long as your marble will go through, you could make this as convoluted as you want. You could make it a circular maze. I don't know whether you all think about you know the things you did as a kid my granny used to be amazing at things she used to um we'd be playing a game and we would want bonnets i remember the time and she just went in and oh wrong one and she went into her sewing room and just made us bonnets to play with Bit of cardboard, a bit of bright yellow fabric, I remember. Okay, last bit. I oh, know we're done pretty much. So we're going to go down like this and back like that and then down to the end. See that? There we go. So we're now going to just iron that off a bit. Yes, um, I did think about um, making it a uh, like rainbow thread, you know, the threads that you, uh, the variegated thread. I thought about that. You could make it a very plain navy and there's no reason why you have to do a straight stitch there's you could use your um your stitches and have different paths with the different decorative stitches on there um you know these th this is the type of thing that you can play around with i've made it very simple because i tend to run on a bit so you can see here all these bits behind now um i don't know whether you've ever used the easy thread th needles amazing for something like this you would just go through and stick your needle in thread it and pull it through because it won't matter inside but i've lock stitched all of those so i could just unthread it uh, um chop it off now this one, I think, is where I started sewing and then cut it instead of, so that would need pulling around. So you would pop, pop your marble, oh, where are we? We would pop your marble in there, so it could sit in there. And then you would just hand stitch that, practice your ladder stitch, or sew it into the quilt. And that's it. We're done. Quite cute, isn't it? So I'll finish that one off tonight. Now uh, I've got one each for the girls. One in pretty pink and one with 
bunnies on it. Look at those bunnies. I love that fabric. Still got bits of it. Ta -da! Another quick project. How many of you made those neck coolers? I saw them coming through last week. Uh, I thought I should have taken it with me. However, it wasn't warm enough, really. There wasn't a day where I thought, oh, I could do with a neck cooler. The wind and the rain at night, oof, that was hard. Hard. But beautiful place, like I say. Dorset, I would really like to go and have another look round Dorset. So I keep saying to Dave, we should go and stay there. So maybe next time. Right, that's it. I'm done. Poor old Dave. I will see you next week. In fact, I think you've got me twice next week because Sarah is on her Kanda on uh, Create and Craft on Tuesday she's on at two so um we haven't quite decided whether we're going to do um how we're going to do it but um probably here I am considering I found this funky little granny square that I thought I might show you on crochet on the Tuesday and then of course it'll be block of the week on the Wednesday so um I'll see you next week and keep an eye out on the social media to find out what we are doing. I will see you soon. I'm just Oh, the Orbeez have just arrived. Oh, aren't they pretty Orbeez? I mean, the powder that I use, they're all right, but the Orbeez are really pretty. In fact, you should use see-through fabric so that you can see them in there. Oh, gauze. Hmm. Um, I'll see you next week. Take care. Have a good weekend. Buttons wouldn't work.